This video will cover the topic domain of a square root function basic. What do you mean by domain of a function? Domain of a function is a set of inputs for which a function is defined. In other words, it is the value that a variable can take for the function to exist. In this video, we are going to find the domain of square root functions. Okay, but how do we find the domain of square root functions? Recall that the quantity inside a square root cannot be negative for real functions. We will use this concept to determine the domain. Let me explain this with an example. Consider we have a function f of x equals square root of x minus 3 and let us say we are required to determine the domain of the function. Since the quantity inside a square root cannot be 0, the quantity should be equal to 0 or greater than 0. Hence, we have x minus 3 greater than or equal to 0. This implies x is greater than or equal to 3. The final step is to write the domain of the function using interval notation. x greater than or equal to 3 implies that the variable x in the function f of x can take any value greater than or equal to 3. Hence, we can write the domain as 3 comma infinity. Why do we use a bracket and parentheses in the interval notation of the domain? We use a bracket in the side of 3 because 3 is included in the domain. Recall that x can take any value greater than or equal to 3. We use a parentheses in the side of infinity as per the convention. Ok, I think I understand the concept. In order to determine the domain of a square root function, we first set the quantity inside the square root to 0. Finally, we determine the domain and represent it in interval notation. Perfect.